YouTube. We're going to have a look at the goings on at Koala Gardens during March. Not just the koalas, but we're going to include a little bit of the biodiversity. I'm going to try and capture more of that for you each month. And we're going to look at everything in alphabetical order. Welcome to Koala Gardens. I'm Katrina and I'm passionate about saving koalas. I have a wildlife sanctuary and encourage other landowners in what they can do to help the environment. I help create a beautiful series of children's books based on the animals on my property. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Smash that like button and leave me a comment. These things all help make my channel more visible and help me help koalas even more. Closed captions are available and now sit back and enjoy the video. We get to start with Ash. Ash was here two days in a row at the beginning of the month. And what's really interesting is Hugo didn't come over to investigate this time. Now there's been a big difference in Hugo and Ellie's behavior this month too. So I'm pretty sure there's a link. More on that in a little bit. These European honeybees are not native to Australia and you can see they've moved into one of the nesting boxes for a while. He's actually a little bit hard to hear over the top of these gorgeous birds singing, but bullets having a good old Mark the Territory bellow. One of the things I love about Bullet is that he has favourite sleeping positions in favourite parts of trees and that's one of the big ones for him. Bullet has made sure that he's kept up his quality control duties moving around all his parts of the areas of the property during the month. One great thing with all the rain we've had is that there are dragonflies just everywhere and our gorgeous Miss Ellie. She hasn't been around quite as much this month. So part of that change in behavior between her and Hugo is that she has either been moving around a little bit more or she went off somewhere maybe. Hmm, it's gonna be very interesting to count some timing back later on this year and look at behaviors that we were seeing. She's truly an arboreal girl and a lot of the time I find her very high up in the trees. I have to check this little spot quite carefully because it's a favourite place for her. She's actually in a forest red gum branch but in a spot where it's nestled inside a wattle. We celebrated the 38th birthday of one of my sons and I can't tell you how hard it is to get my kids to stand still for a photo. We all know that Green Tree Frog Haven is another name for koala gardens. Now I've actually seen a lot less of Hugo this month and that, that comes back around to that conversation about the change in behavior between Hugo and Ellie. Hugo is definitely not stalking Ellie all the time now. So that means one of two things. Either Hugo's been successful and Ellie does have a joey or the breeding season has tapered off and Hugo's given up. We're all dying to know which one of those it is. And where would life be without our beautiful Houdini Jessie? Now in the second half of this month I need to let you know that Jessie's been on the property a little bit less. So I think he's starting to really get his feet and he's maybe moving about a bit more than he was and it may well be that he'll end up leaving and establishing his own place. It's going to be so great to watch him. I must be a real Aussie because I just can't even imagine life without kookaburras. Their call is astounding and they're just a great bird to watch. And then we get the rainbow lorikeet. I love these birds, the bright colors of them and the absolute larrikin antics they get up to. 
are just a joy to watch any day of the week. And this tiny little praying mantis came koala spotting with me one day. And last on the koala list, but most definitely never the least, is our gorgeous Matilda. Now, we've been watching Matilda for a couple of months, hoping that she would give us a reveal. And she's come close to it a couple of times. We're still not 100% certain. It's been such a wet month. It's actually been quite difficult to get as many good photos and as much video of the koalas as I usually do. But there is one tiny little sneak peek that Matilda gave me at the very end of the month. This is what she showed me. So leave a comment and tell me what you reckon. Whenever you get green tree frogs, you do get their predators, which are a variety of gorgeous Australian native snakes, like this little green tree snake. And this is the shed skin from a coastal carpet python from just the other day. I know quite a lot of people get scared of snakes, but I love them. They are an important part of the ecosystem. And lastly, a very sad event during the month when a person driving by hit and killed one of my beautiful redneck wallabies. I just wish people would slow down. You have made it right through to the end of yet another Koala Gardens video. Thanks so much for dropping in, watching, enjoying. I hope that you did hit that like button. Don't forget to smash it right now. And write in the comment below, March Saw 6. There's going to be lots more great video coming up during April. So make sure that you have subscribed so that you don't ever miss out on a koala thing. Thanks for visiting Koala Gardens. Did you hit the like button? Now before you go, there's lots more great video to see and make sure you've subscribed and hit that notification bell.